The scent of autumn leaves filled the air as I watched my little sister, Emily, playing in the backyard. Her laughter echoed through the crisp afternoon air as she danced alongside the fallen leaves, her giggles like music to my ears. But there was something about the way she moved, something unsettling in the way she seemed to be talking with someone or something that I couldn't see. Emily had always been a lively child, her imagination wild and untamed. But in recent weeks, she had become fixated on an imaginary friend who was called Sarah. She talked to Sarah constantly, whispering secrets into the wind as if she were sharing them with a trusted friend. At first, I dismissed it as nothing more than a child's colorful imagination, a harmless game of make-believe. But as the days passed, I began to notice subtle changes in Emily's behavior. A distant look in her eyes, a hesitance in her voice that spoke of secrets too dark to share. One night, as I tucked Emily into bed, she turned to me with an intense expression on her face. Sarah says we have to be careful, she whispered, her voice barely above a breath. She says there are things out there that want to hurt us. I tried to reassure her, to convince her that Sarah was just a figment of her imagination. But deep down, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to her imaginary friend than meets the eye. As the weeks went by, strange things began to happen in our house. Objects moved on their own, strange shadows danced in the corners of our eyes, and a chill seemed to settle over the once warm and welcoming atmosphere. I tried to convince myself that it was just my imagination running wild, but deep down, I knew that there was something sinister lurking in the shadows. And then, one fateful night, Emily's whispers took on a desperate urgency, her voice trembling with fear as she spoke of the things that Sarah had told her, the things that lurked in the darkness, waiting to claim us as their own. I tried to comfort her, to chase away the shadows that haunted her dreams, but it was no use. The darkness had already taken hold, its sinister arms wrapping around us like a suffocating blanket, choking the life out of everything we held dear. And then, one night, as I lay awake in bed, I heard Emily's voice drifting through the darkness, a soft, mournful whisper that sent shivers down my spine. I crept into her room, my heart pounding in my chest as I braced myself for what I would find. But when I opened the door, Emily was nowhere to be found. Instead, I found myself standing in a room bathed in darkness. Emily vanished without a trace. I searched every corner of the house, calling out her name into the darkness, but there was no sign of her. Panic surged through my veins as I realized that she was gone, taken by the same darkness that had haunted our dreams for so long. For days, I searched tirelessly for Emily, my heart heavy with grief and despair. I refused to give up hope, clinging to the belief that she was still out there somewhere waiting to be found. And then, just when all hope seemed lost, a glimmer of light pierced the darkness, a faint sound echoing through the stillness of the night. It was Emily's voice calling out to me from the depths of the forest that surrounded our home. With renewed determination, I followed the sound of her voice, my heart pounding in my chest as I pushed through the underbrush branches snapping beneath my feet as I raced towards the source of the sound. And there, standing at the edge of the clearing, was Emily, alive and unharmed, her eyes shining with tears of relief as she ran into my arms. She told me of her journey through the forest, of the strange and wondrous sights she had seen, and of the kindness of the strangers who had helped her find her way home. As we made our way back to the safety of our house, I couldn't help but wonder about the darkness that had taken hold of our lives, about the mysteries that lurked just beyond the edge of our understanding. 
But in that moment, all that mattered was that Emily was safe, her spirit unbroken by the darkness that had threatened to consume her. And as we watched the leaves fall from the trees outside our window, I knew that no matter what horrors awaited us in the darkness, we would face them together, bound by a love that was stronger than any fear.